Hello there, person. Let's check out what's new making the game Wraith Binder. This week, I've been doing some fun stuff with uh, the boss of fire. This boss of fire is the thing that turns you into a boss in the middle of the map here. And uh, there's a new animation and some sound effects for this. So we'll turn this on here. Uh, Oh yeah, you've been bossified. So that's what that looks like now, and uh, that's just way more fun um, because especially uh, especially when you're playing with um, a bunch of other players. Let's check that out. Uh, let's get to um, let's turn off this. Let's make the world erode really fast so that uh, we can have all the players get pushed into the middle really quickly. And we'll see what this looks like. Um, it's just really fun to see which players are getting turned into bosses. And uh, I also made the boss of fire's um, hold duration a lot quicker, so that basically you can you only have to hold it for a second instead of like four seconds to turn into a boss, which means that a lot more players are turning into bosses now. So we've got the world eroding super fast. Now we've got all the players fighting here in the middle. And you see, we already have one person that's a boss. It's just chaos right now. Oh, I got turned into a boss, but then died. There's Paul for no boss. <laughs> totally chaos. Okay, so another fun thing is that uh, players become small once they've uh, they've died during this countdown period. So it kind of shows you which players um, which players are have died or haven't during that process basically you can see like oh um i don't know it kind of narrows things down a bit like you're fighting with with eight players and during the end of the match one of some of them are tiny some of them are not that means that you've died you know it's easy to see at a glance who's who's died and who hasn't during that ending period so uh that's and it's also kind of fun to be tiny and to see other players being tiny and also, being while you're tiny now, you run faster, but you do do less damage. It, it always did less damage, but now you run a little bit faster. So there's a little bit of a balance to your... It's not like you're just getting uh, punished for being tiny. You also have a little bonus in the fact that you're faster. So that's really fun. The next thing that we've got here to show is the fact that uh, we've now got style characters for the map art style. So... Um, let's just quickly show the art style we've got here just to begin with um, this is just the foundation for for different art styles I really haven't created a second art style yet I just really just quickly went and colored things a bit different so here's what that art style looks like um, before right we're gonna see a different art style here and it's gonna have taller ground blocks and a little bit of a different colored pillars and things like that so let's go ahead and enable that different art style so there you go we've got some see the ground blocks beneath the player are much taller and we've got some pillars that are sort of cast in this orange color and some of these stairs look a little bit different and even the grass uh, is all weird. It's starting to become. It's it's got a little bit of orange in it. Still got the world eroding super fast. Let's turn that back off. So yeah, there you have it. That's what's new with Wraith Binder. Um, what's what's really great is now that I've got this foundation for different art styles for maps, I could go and create some really cool, like create a quality art style for the for these maps to make things a lot 
more unique every time you play. So you can randomly have uh, this map style or that art style. And uh, and then the next thing after this is gonna be procedurally generated maps. So different, using a maze generator to create uh, different pathways each time you play. So then it's gonna be really interesting to drop yourself into a match and be like, I have no idea where where to go in this map because it's just randomly generated. So we'll have procedurally generated maps, kind of like Diablo-esque, I'm imagining. I guess that's really uh, that's really not the right word, Diablo-esque. Um, it's gonna be more like Songbringer-esque. Songbringer had its own sort of procedurally generated maps, and that's kind of what it'll look like. It, it's not like these map styles are gonna look like Diablo. This obviously doesn't look all quality art like Diablo. This is pixel art, man. Retro style. Uh. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching this video. There'll be lots more. There's actually a lot more stuff I didn't really mention in this, um, uh, in here. But, uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching anyways. Catch you next time. And have a good one, all right? See ya.